With Rebecca, I'm David. It's 11 minutes past the hour, and there's a space capsule that brought two astronauts to the International Space Station, and it will return to Earth this week, but without the astronauts. Yeah, they were scheduled to fly a week-long test mission on the Boeing Starliner. Now their stay will last eight months. 27 News Washington correspondent Vinay Simlot explains why. The Boeing Starliner is scheduled to undock and return to Earth this Friday. An American flag covers the window. Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams won't need to see out because they won't be on board. They're packing up the Starliner and they're getting it configured for the return. Ignition. The astronauts launched on June 5th, scheduled for a week-long test flight. They likely won't return until February of 2025. They lost another jet. Because of thruster failures and helium leaks, NASA elected to bring the Boeing Starliner back without crew. Boeing believes the Starliner is safe enough to bring the astronauts back to Earth, but NASA leadership ultimately disagreed, which led to a heated meeting between Boeing and NASA. I wouldn't say it was a a yelling, screaming kind of meeting. It was a, a tense technical discussion. Because NASA engineers weren't confident in Starliner, they're sending the rival SpaceX Dragon capsule up with two crew instead of four. It'll bring Wilmore and Williams back to Earth while engineers work on Boeing's capsule. There's teams starting to look at the, what we do to get the vehicle um, fully certified in the future. But the agency insists Wilmore and Williams were never stuck or stranded. They always had a way to uh, to depart the space station. And to me, when somebody is stranded, there's a location where they cannot leave. Working for you in Washington, Vinay Simlot, 27 News.